Good morning. Hey, welcome. Uh, today is Thursday, December 28th, and uh, we're going to do our best to solve today's New York Times crossword puzzle as a team, you and I. Uh, it's Thursday, and uh, so we're expecting it to be a little bit tricky. I'm unfamiliar with this constructor, Kieran Pandy, which usually when we see that on a Thursday, <clears throat> you know, a new constructor, an unfamiliar constructor, usually means there's going to be an interesting quirk, an interesting theme. Um, potentially something we haven't seen before. So that's always nice. Uh, on an 18 day streak. So that's, that's pretty good. We'll keep keep that going, hopefully. And uh, I said good morning, but it's morning here, where I live at this moment that I'm recording this video, but uh, could potentially be not morning for you uh, when you watch it. So good afternoon, good evening, good night, good day to you. I think that's about all I got. I don't really have any fun announcements for the day. It's the holidays in a ski resort town. And so everything's a little bit bonkers. Um, a lot of traffic, a lot of people, not much stuff on the shelves of the grocery store. And so good day to make a crossword video. So here we go. Let's do it. Hope your week is treating you well. Hope the holidays uh, haven't been too excruciating for you. Let's do it. A noble title. Well, it could be like sire. It could be earl. It could be duke, right? Um, feels like it could be a number of things. A deity from whose hair flows the river Ganga. <clears throat> so I'm going to say that's probably the river Ganga is the Ganges. Is that that river? Um, which would mean maybe this is like shiva or something um could this be a v collection of traits necessary for the achievement of great things okay um well moving on hold it right there like halt probably could be stop i guess dublin's land is probably ire lind like a mouse like a mouse like qu quiet um, so just quiet as a mouse could be, <clears throat> I'm just going to go for it. You only yellow once. So let's try. You don't need, you don't need to tell me. Well, that looks like I know, which would mean that there would be some kind of a double letter rebus going on here. Um, but we're not going to jump the gun on that. We'll see. We'll see if that airs out that 1978 musical amazing movie <clears throat> like is this like fire grease or grease fire grease fire i think this is grease fire um and if that is the answer i really like that um fire is current grease is retro uh, but sort of timeless as well. And also could be totally wrong. So put a pin in it. Long for, like, hope for, yearn for, pine for. I bet it's pine for. Uh, aha moment. Sully. Um, well, this one, I just kind of took a peek there. Stu is a nickname found there. Sully is... Uh, I don't know what that is. One in a black suit is a spade, right? Like a deck of cards. Pie hot and sour soup is a tom yum soup. I can't say that I love tom yum soup, but um, no one cares if I love it. A lot of people do. That 2009 Pixar film, incredibly well made. So that's something cars, right? I feel like cars was at the, um, so something cars. Oh, 60s, 70s archetype is a hippie. Asiago, but one might say when the coast is clear, land ho. Uh, you don't need to tell me. I saw responsibility for social media manager tweets. Um, okay. Oh, so this is up. Up 
is the Pixar movie Upright. Upright? No. Up. Uptight. Uptight. There we go. Um, I like that. Grease fire. Uptight. Uh, thereabouts. Yam Kippur. That's kind of interesting. The calm yum soup and then Yam Kippur. Uh, cereal with mega stuff version. Those are Oreo O's, which is probably should be illegal. Um, I don't think anyone should consume that much sugar for, for breakfast. Oreos are pretty bad any time of day. I mean, they're delicious. They're amazing. Um, but yeah, probably don't, probably don't feed your kids Oreos for breakfast would be my advice. Life or death. Uh, well, it's not a sentence. Is it a term? A term? What is this? Oh, this is an air horn. So life or death are... Uh, Coelho, who wrote The Alchemist. I don't know what The Alchemist is or who Coelho is, so I'm going to move on from that one. Um, that 2013 Disney movie, pretty decent. So my hardest part for me is going to be knowing what these films are. Um, experience four seasons in one day, say. Here's the thing. Complete collection, say, like a box set. I'm a little bit worried about that X, though. Thingamajig. Hmm. Complete collection, say. Hmm. A minute in Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's probably an asp. Indiana Jones's Elite Heel. Blows away, I bet, is Oz. That 2009 science fiction flick, freaking epic. Biblical Mount. I was going to say Sinai. Mount. Plants used in skincare products are aloes. Early employer of Steve Jobs is Apple. It's what makes you you. Is that like your ego? Oh, your DNA, maybe. Boy's name in a number one Beatles hit. Hmm. Boy's name. It's funny, I can think of so many women. Eleanor Rigby, like lovely Rita Meter Maid, sexy Sadie. But boys, I've got Maxwell Silverhammer. That's not it. Um, boy's name. Hmm. That 2011 Neo Noir. Insanely good. Neo-noir. Uh, Omar Sharif played the title role in Dr. Zhivago. A dumb cough is like an ass or a, an idiot, maybe. Um, well, this looks like DMs, right? DMs, oops. A dumb cough. A biblical figure who is compared to a hairy garment. Hmm. Some wines. I bet that's just reds. Cardiologist's tool. Fellow. All right, let's see how we're doing here. 7.30, so kind of a long first pass, but we got a bunch filled in, and I paused along the way to do some down work. Um, so not too bad. Uh, smoothly, I'm going to say this is legato and noble title is probably lady, right? Dreams of lady and a pro choice is a yay vote. R rated. That's steamy. So this is not quiet. Steamy. Thanks for an audio file. Is that hi-fi? But that's hi-fi. Uh, I'm in. Let's do this thing. So this does look like Shiva, right? Collection of traits necessary for the achievement of great things. Hmm. Oh, timid is a mouse. Okay. Limeade, lemonade, 
This is Shiva. Sully is taint. So virt, virtu, collection of traits necessary for the achievement of great things. So is this just like an alternate spelling of virtue? Or am I missing something here? Does this, is there a shift? Did we get virtuousness or something? Um, maybe not. Maybe it's just virtue with a no E. It's usually taken outside. Usually taken outside. Part of BYOB, that's bring your own booze or beverages, I suppose. Life or death, those are nouns. Cool. Uh, a bit of golf attire is probably a polo shirt. App as an app is to open it. <clears throat> Comics read from left to right. I think this is manga, which is like anime, kind of. Uh, some prestigious prizes are Nobels, Nobel prizes. And so what do we have here? Frozen. Decent. Frozen. Frozen solid. Oh, I like that one. Uh, functions, uses. What is this? Should take it outside. Oh, a stroll. And Paolo Coelho. So he's probably Paolo. Is he a Brazilian fella, maybe? Coelho, it sounds like it might be. Uh, bake ZT, delicious. Where more pigs live than people. <clears throat> um, I mean, I'm thinking this might be like Iowa, in which case Oz would be wrong. I mean, I don't think it's Iran. Uh, largest food delivery company in the U.S. is DoorDash. Proud to say I've never used DoorDash. I shouldn't say proud. I mean, it's just not a practical option in my life where I live. I've never used DoorDash or Uber Eats, and uh, I'd like to keep that going as long as possible because they seem like a real hassle with a lot of fees. Here's the thing. Like, look, I bet that's what that is. I bet this is Iowa. Seven night holiday, Kwanzaa. I didn't know that Kwanzaa, Kwanzaa is not even 60 years old, apparently. I, I was unawares of that. Um, blows away, wows. Okay. And the key of glory. Well, it's something major, right? Assuming aloes is correct. Uh, body for hair is volume. Uh, complete collection is a hmm. thing in the jig is a do bad. This, oh, this must be a DVD set, D major. Okay. Sinister smiles are sneers. Judy Garland to Liza Minnelli. I don't know. What many children are told not to do on Christmas Eve, but encouraged to do on New Year's Eve. Like, stay up. Yeah, stay up. Right. Uh, this looks like moon moonlit. Two thousand moon. So this one I don't love because I've never heard of the science fiction flick Moon. At first, I thought this was going to be something related to Moonlight, but I don't. Obviously, it's not. Um, but I mean, Grease, very, very well known. Up, very well known. Frozen, very well known. And then Moon. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, let's see here. Deck with the major and minor arcana. That's the tarot deck. A flare. That's oh, that's Ric Flair. So Apple is wrong. Atari must be the answer, right? This is Ararat. Judy Garland, this is just parent. Could be. Part of a makeshift swing is a tire, like a tire swing. Drive crazy. And Stratford upon Avon, where Shakespeare is from. Abbreviation often accompanied by a red dot uh, recording. <coughs> <coughs> We done did it.
Um, not too bad, 1325 on a Thursday with a theme, with a constructor we're not familiar with. Like that's a pretty good, quick, smooth solve. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and I really like this theme. I, it's simple, it's elegant, it's well-constructed, and it didn't really interfere with the rest of the fill a whole lot. Um, we have Grease Fire, Uptight, Frozen Solid, Moon Lit, and Drive Crazy. Um, yeah, I mean, they work on a couple levels. There's some good wordplay and misdirection and yeah, just overall like a pretty elegant construction. Uh, so let's take a look, see what we liked and did not like so much. Um, a noble title is, I mean, Lady certainly is a noble title. I feel like Lady is a little bit more broad than that. And um, it could have been some other fun ways to clue that. Uh, Shiva, um, I mean, this was my first instinct was that this would be Shiva and that bore fruit. Uh, hold it right there. Halt, ire, timid as a mouse. I saw grease, fire, pine for, aha moment. Sully is the taint. One in a black suit is a spade. That's kind of the first interesting or exciting clue out of this bunch. Um, some, you know, Sully is the taint. Like if you looked up one of those words in the thesaurus, you'd probably see the other one. So um, eh, just not that fun or clever uh, where spade, one in a black suit. I mean, you're thinking like the men in black, you know, um, or a pallbearer or something. I mean, just a number of things that, come to mind. <clears throat> um, Thai hot and sour soup. Uptight. Or so. Yom Kippur. Or so feels a little bit too much, too too similar to Oreo O's. Um, Oreo O's is also just the weirdest thing to see in the grid and to say out loud. Uh, life and death, both nouns. Paolo Coelho. Um, so far, not a lot of, I mean, you know, Shiva, I guess, is a good bit of fill. Tom Yum is an interesting one. Um, Paolo Coelho, eh, I wonder how many of you have heard of that guy. Um, <clears throat> Frozen Solid Binge, experience four seasons in one day, say. Oh, okay. That's a good one. That's a clever clue. Good misdirection, wordplay, punny. Nice. Uh, whereas this one, it's like, Here's the thing. Look, I don't know. It's dumb. A uh, complete collection is a DVD set. This one feels pretty dated already. I mean, I don't know. I'm sure many, many of us own lots of DVDs, but um, A, I wonder if anyone has complete sets anymore or if they've all gone missing. Um, and B, like mostly we're streaming things. We're mostly we're, we're using um, streaming content. Uh, interesting though, like with some of the changes in streaming and you know, it's like, I've heard some, you know, anecdotally some, some stories about like, Oh, I purchased quote, purchased this movie on whatever platform. And now they're saying I, I no longer own it because the platform has merged or been purchased or whatever. So we may all want to hold on to our DVDs and all of our physical assets. Cause that might be the only media we're guaranteed of in the future. Uh, ask, I mean, I love Raiders of the Lost Ark so much. Like, I mean, it's got to be one of my top 10 all-time favorite movies. Just spectacular. Uh, Blows Away is Wow's Moon Lit, Ararat. Um, it was kind of a, you know, trivia, trivia one, but Aloe's Atari. I didn't know that Steve Jobs worked for Atari. It certainly makes sense and adds up. Also, just crazy that Atari, like, I don't really know the story of Atari, but I mean, they were so far ahead of Nintendo and Sega and somehow just blew it. Like, I don't, I mean, what happened to Atari? I feel like that's a movie that's dying to be made is the story of Atari, right? Uh, DNA makes you you. Jude. Oh, hey, Jude. Yep. Um, it's funny, too. So now that we've got the answer here, hey, Jude. Um, but I believe Jude is... Julian Lennon, right? Um, John Lennon's son. Um, but Jude, I mean, one of the most beautiful songs of all time. But I, even knowing that it's a man, I still, I don't know, Jude, just, I think of that as a, a woman. So, I don't know. 
Drive Crazy, Omar Sharif, definitely some some tough like name, you know, trivia. Um, hey Jude, Omar Sharif, Ararat, Paolo, um, Shiva, you know, a bunch of kind of tough, calm yum soup, you know, uh, tough proper nouns, tough trivia fill. A dumb cough is a moron. Isa is another kind of toughish uh, name. Red wine, stent, a uh, fellow is a chap. Legato, I. You know, okay. Don't love that as a bit of fill, um, but I don't know. It was parsable and gettable. An air horn is just the most annoying thing of all time. So <clears throat> don't do everyone a favor and don't bring an air horn anywhere. Uh, aspire to dreams of yay, steamy, hi fi. That one feels a little bit dated, right? Uh, I'm in, sure. Um, this one, I mean, I already talked about vir virtue a little bit, but I don't know, this is kind of a confusing bit of fill. I mean, I've never heard of that and I'm certainly not familiar enough with Machiavelli to, to know his writings inside and out. Um, limeade, lemonade, a hippie classic, uh, Asiago, Land Ho. Um, I like that one. Land Ho. I think that's a good bit of fill, Land Ho. And I also like that clue, what you might say when the coast is clear, um, meaning that you the coast is within sight, that you can see the land, hence Land Ho. Uh, responsibility for social media manager are tweets. Are they still called tweets? Like, do you still refer to it as a tweet now that it's no longer Twitter? Or... Can we all just acknowledge that it is always going to be Twitter and no one's ever going to call it X? Um, I don't know. These are the questions that I can't answer. Stew, stroll, love a good stroll. Your, a polo shirt, all right. Uh, open, manga, another, you know, kind of tough trivia proper down. Uh, Nobel Prizes. Um, it's funny. Just seeing this pluralized. We've seen Nobel Prize a fair amount, and that's definitely fair game, but uh, to see it pluralized as just Nobels is kind of odd. Uh, functions, uses, baked ZD, yum yum. Uh, more pigs in Iowa than people. I haven't really spent any time in Iowa. I've driven through it a number of times, headed from to and from Colorado, from Massachusetts, where I grew up. Uh, and Iowa's just, you know, right on the way. Um, but I've heard it's a cool place. I've heard it's actually like a pretty, <clears throat> pretty lively state with some good art scene and good food and whatnot. So I don't know. And a lot of pigs, apparently. Uh, Door Dash. Sure. Kwanzaa. Why not? D major. Okay. Uh, voluminous hair. Doodad. Doodad feels a little bit like Door Dash, which I don't particularly care for, but uh, sneers, parent, stay up, tarot, flare of wrestling, tire swing, Avon, Stratford upon Avon, <clears throat> direct messages, and wreck, which I don't like because it's so close to Rick. Um, yeah, so it's interesting. Like, my first impressions when wrapping this puzzle up were smooth, smooth solve, good, good, uh, theme. And I'll stand by that. Um, however, after, you know, taking a closer look, I you know, can't say that I love the fill here or love the cluing. <clears throat> there are definitely some highlights, the, the punnier stuff, the more wordplay, um, the better. Um, but yeah, lots of just kind of like tough proper noun fill, like I mentioned, virtue and manga and some of these things, a couple of the names. Um, but we've certainly seen worse Thursdays than this and a uh, smooth solve that didn't take too long and that every, where everything was laid out pretty well. Um, you know, this is definitely a, a solid construction for it says solid as the movie frozen. Uh, yeah. So I guess that's it. Decent solve. We like, we liked uh, the smoothness of it and we nitpicked the rest and that's 
what this channel is about is finding fault everywhere and uh, <laughs> looking for things to criticize. So anywho, um, rest of my week and weekend is pretty low key like last week. So it's possible I will do a couple more solves, uh, assuming I've got the time the next few days. So I uh, hope you'll join me for those. Uh, as always, please click the like button, button. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you're interested. And I hope you'll join me again next time for another live solve of the New York Times crossword. Thank you.